This is one of the best days of all of our lives. We've all been waiting for this, the stepping down of President Yoichi Wada of Square Enix. Uh, this means that hopefully they won't be making any bad decisions. Now this comes right after this article was posted. Let me show you this, that uh, Square Enix expects extraordinary loss in the next financial year, um, in the next financial report. Um, so, you know, they're not making a lot of games. Contrary to what people want to believe, Tomb Raider is not the best game of all fucking time, and it is not selling as high as other type of games. So, you know, you, you can't really just say, oh, they got Tomb Raider, they're going to be okay. No. Um, these, this is a game company. They're not putting out a lot of good titles. They're, they're not really catering to their fans, and all of their fans are standing up. You know, we're, we're, if they keep putting out shit, we're not going to buy it. You know, now I'm kind of pleased with them releasing uh, the Kingdom Hearts um, uh, 1.5 HD remix. I'm, I'm glad that they're releasing that in the United States, and I'm glad about the um, Final Fantasy X and X2 being released in the United States for the PS3 and the PS Vita, but it's still not going to be enough. It's a start, but it's not enough. I hope that the next president of Square Enix can make better decisions uh, because uh, Yoichi just did, he, he didn't do it. He, he didn't do it at all. I was like, ever since he got there, Square Enix been, was just fucking up all over the place. It was just fucking up all over the place. It was because of him that Final Fantasy 13 went multi-plat and failed. You know? So, um, I can't wait to see who the next president is. And hopefully he will um, remember where Square Enix came from. And who's paved the way for what uh, Square Enix is doing. And that definitely, you know, definitely Sony in the PlayStation brand. You know, if it wasn't for Sony and a PlayStation brand, I don't know where the fuck Square Enix would be. Because Nintendo definitely didn't give them a chance. Uh, that's why they put Final Fantasy VII on the PS1, uh, not the N64. So, I'm so fucking happy that he's resigning. I'm so fucking happy. Um, another company that might have to, you know, suffer a similar fate is definitely Nintendo. Because they're not doing good at all right now as far as the Wii U selling and any of the games on the Wii U selling. Third party support for the Wii U. And um, one more thing about the Wii U. It's going to get sandwiched by the PS4 and the Xbox 720. So they got to look out for that. Because if they do wait until E3 to release a price drop, everybody is just going to see it as a, a desperate move to get those units off the store shelves and it's just not gonna work at that point in time after e3 people are gonna know the release date and the price points for the xbox 720 and the ps4 and they're gonna be saving their money for those consoles not to go get um the wii u i want to call it a different name but not gonna be getting the wii u so um that's pretty much all i wanted to cover I'm going to have both links to both of these articles in the description, and you can look over it in your own time. Uh, but this is big news, and it's actually good news. Um, you know, I'm glad that they're forcing him to resign, because uh, they, they fucked up, man. They've been fucking up for a long time. All gamers can agree they've been fucking up, you know. I really want to ask the question that everybody's been asking me. Where the fuck is Final Fantasy Versus 13? Okay, I mean, what the fuck, man, really, what the fuck, I won't be that pissed off if they release it for the PS4, but I do want them to release it, um, so, yeah, that's it, I'll see you guys later.